As many as 100,000 Americans die every year from pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot to the lung. Now, traditionally, doctors treat this with blood thinning medications, which slowly relieve the symptoms, like shortness of breath. But new research shows that for some patients, patients rather, a different approach can have life-saving results. We like to travel. We like to go to the shore. Beach trips like this destination wedding almost weren't possible for Rosalie O'Neill this year. Uh, I was feeling more congestion like every day. You know, it was getting like a little worse. After two weeks of suffering through what she thought was the flu, Rosalie went to the emergency room. We could see her heart was racing. Her heart rate was double what it should have been. They did a PET scan, and that's where they found uh, blood clots in uh, both lungs. In addition to the traditional blood thinning medication, Dr. Geary also offered Rosalie clot busting drugs. Dr. Geary had said, if you decide to do it, he said, tomorrow you will breathe much better, and he was right. Doctors traditionally reserve clot busting drugs for the very sickest patients because of the risk of bleeding to the brain. Dr. Geary and his colleagues analyzed the results of previous trials of the clot busting drugs and found adding the drugs to traditional therapy reduced deaths by 47 percent. Low risk patients did fine with only the traditional therapy. High risk patients needed the clot busting drugs. The difference? The 20 percent of patients in between. There was a benefit to treating intermediate risk patients with clot busters. Rosalie was in that middle group. She says the additional therapy got her back to the things she enjoys most, surf and sand with family and friends. That's my favorite picture of her. The use of clot busting drugs is still a hotly debated topic, but doctors say this study shows the benefits of offering the therapy to additional patients.